Hi, Aquarius. Hi, Aquarius. Okay, the card of the day today is the Daisy from the Herbiary Oracle cards. And the message of the Daisy is be yourself. Even if you don't feel like you stand out, you have your own magic. And somehow or another, the Daisy always finds its way everywhere. It's very simple and pretty. Yes. But see, it, it, when it embraces that simplicity, it embrace, it embraces its own divinity. Absolutely. Now. Absolutely. Aquarius, the beautiful Aquarius, the healer, the ones who carry the water, the divine, if they choose. You want to start or you want me? Okay. Okay. See, I do mind blind. So, with that divinity card up there, divinity is present in your life right now. And divinity is present in everybody's life right now because it's moving. Um, the vibration of the planet is now to where that energy is uh, activating certain understandings within our core. Absolutely. And it's moving. And a lot of people are really off balance, off kilter. They know what's right. They know what's wrong. But it's easier to do the wrong things sometimes because it's what they know. Mm -hmm. They're comfortable with. But now, whereas 10 years ago, that energy wasn't seen. Mm -hmm. It was part of the program. We're writing out that program. Right. And some people are having a hard time balancing. And that's why we're here. Okay. Absolutely. I'm not going to come at you and say, this energy is yours and the other guy is the bad guy. Or I'm not going to come at you and say, this energy is the other guy's and you're the bad guy. Okay. The energy is what it is. It's present for the collective. And it's energy that the divine says we need to deal with because the divine is also present. So let's see what they have to say. Ooh. Magician. This is coming up a lot too because with this higher energy we are manifesting the truth of our subconscious. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily the truth of our spirit, but the truth of our subconscious. Mm -hmm. Which, if we are true to ourself and our spirit, our subconscious matches. Which, when our subconscious matches, our life is good. Absolutely. When our subconscious don't, we have that internal battle. We have worry, we have fret, we have fear. We start manifesting that. So let's see what we're doing here. Now with divinity present, that means that you feel that. You know the difference. Ooh, the wheel's turning for you, Aquarius. That means you're feeling the difference. If this wheel is turning, that means that you've upgraded. In some way, you've had a bad aha moment, mm -hmm. and you are ready to manifest. You manifested a new beginning. With the King of Pentacles? Nice. No, that seems pretty darn good. Or you're actually standing in the King of Pentacles energy, which I would like to see you, I would rather see you standing yourself in the King of Pentacles energy, because honestly... The divine isn't going to put you on this wheel and then have you depend on somebody else for your abilities. And what's the rest of your cards? Let's see. Maybe the Queen of Pentacles is there too. No. Not yet? The Nine of Pentacles is. This is about the, the single. Empress. Okay. This is about the single. Knows her own power um, mm -hmm. embraces the empowerment. Now, you notice that this is not a man. This is a woman mm -hmm. on the Nine of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. All right. She embraces possibility. She's balanced her head and her heart, and she's uh, creating her own world. Now, mm -hmm. there's, they always say, you know, oh, you're waiting for that Ten of Pentacles. This king is holding, and then you'll be the Ten of Pentacles. No, you're already the Ten of Pentacles, all right? You have that Ninth Pentacle hidden in a secret place. And that Pentacle is the one that you share with Spirit. You are the Ten of Pentacles. Now, 
what you want to find is another ten of pentacles that ain't waiting on any mother for his hat or her happiness. All right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't believe spirit will make you dependent on any human being for your happiness because spirit wants you to depend on it. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at this. Oh, there's the Ten of Pentacles. Hold the fuck on. Wait a minute. Hmm. Wait a minute. Hmm. Well, this looks like a happy granddaddy with his dog and grandbaby here and a happy couple back here. It looks like they're in a castle and they're just having a good old time. Gee, I wonder what this person did when he took his magic and made that wheel turn. He embraced that King of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. He became the Ten of Pentacles within itself. Alright. Here, we have a lot of Ten of Pentacles energy coming together. Creating more Ten. Do you see the babies? That's what you create when you understand your own power. I, I see a lot of good things coming for Aquariuses that understand mm -hmm. that this is an opportunity. And if you're looking at this as a man, let's see. Now, I'm going to look at the connecting because I like to do either or. All right. Now, there's some people standing in their own power and they're creating magic and they're going out there and changing the world. They're healing people. Mm -hmm. They're being blessed. Mm-hmm. They're being fortified. I mean, that's that's a lot of happy. That's a lot of pinnacles. That's a lot of magic. That's a lot of uh, ability. All right. Hmm. There's a king of pentacles again. That's a double king. Now, to me, when this comes in, Dudes, you got it going on. Okay, this double king of pentacles is telling me that you have a soulmate coming in because you're standing in your own power of truth and you're seeing that you are your own ten of pentacles. All right, now here, this is twice this king of pentacles has showed up. Once you stand in your king of pentacles power and you understand it for what it is, Guess who shows up? Ooh. Hmm. That could be in her side. Or it could just be somebody that understands value. What's truly valuable. Because when you understand what's truly valuable, and it doesn't mean money, then you get blessed. And if that means money, great. It'll happen. You'll have what you need. I'm so excited about this. I'm so happy for you, Aqua. Strength. Standing in your strength. Standing up for yourself. I see a lot of uh, understanding going on here. I don't see a lot of... I don't see any bad cards. I, did I get to be the good cop this time? Yeah, I think you did. Oh, I love it. I love it. But all you have to do is make that choice. Because the bottom of the deck here is just a little upside down. So some of you ain't making the choice. And on the bottom of this deck is a ten of wands. Now that's the end of a cycle. Are you going to have the strength to let it go? Or are you going to defend what no longer serves you? Or are you going to embrace the new? No way. What? That's embracing the new, baby. Alright, Don, what you got? Well, I went with the fairy's deck and I had two cards jump out. Oh. We had the fairies are trying to say, stand your ground. Oh. Okay. Good. And then they also want you to know environmental awareness. Okay. And then we went to the enchanted maps. 
and we got the card Deep Freeze. Now, this card actually means that you kind of need to put some things on ice. Slow down, pause, spend some time on yourself, okay? And then we get down here to the Gilded Tarot, and we got the Sword of Truth, okay? And the Sword of Truth is right by the Queen of Cups. And then we start getting into the emotions. Somebody around here is feeling kind of defeated. Okay. Maybe the situation isn't working out quite the way that you want it to. Maybe you're kind of feeling like you need to... Maybe you're being too hard on somebody in a situation. You know, the fairy said, stand your ground. Especially with your sword of truth right here. Like a divine truth. Absolutely. Absolutely. It is a divine truth. Yeah, standing behind that cup of love right there. Mm-hmm. And then we got this knight of cups right here. And given the, the sword of the truth and stand your ground and deep freeze... Kind of get the feeling that this knight is trying to push you into a situation real quick. Like trying to get you to not, don't weigh everything out is what this knight is telling me. But all these cards, they're saying, weigh it out. Think about it. You're not feeling, they're, they're, there's something that's not right in this situation. And I know it's not right because the judgment card is upside down too. And that's somebody who's not getting treated fairly. Or somebody being lied on. Mm, well, that would be why the, would you say? And somebody not being, or somebody being yeah, lied on? That's somebody like, yeah, not judging. That's like unfair judgment. Mm -hmm. Somebody doesn't feel like they're getting a fair shot. And that's his truth right here. Or making somebody feel like that. And then we got the magician. Now, the magician has a little bit of every element. He's a master. You got, yeah. Yep. You got everything in your hands to make this situation turn out the way that you want it to do. Mm -hmm. Stand your ground. Especially when you're standing in your truth. Stand your ground. And don't be forced into anything. Put things on pause a little bit. Let things play out. <coughs> Let the truth be revealed. You got anything else you want to add? You know, I, I kind of want to have a perspective here on the power of Aquarius. Because you guys have a lot of power now, it, the, your your major arcana is the star, which the star has the healing waters of the divine. Absolutely. That's you pouring those healing waters and delivering it to all these cups. That's a major power. That's a major healing power. That's a major, major, major power. Make sure you have those jugs filled with the right stuff. Absolutely. Because that's major power too. But it's not healing. And when you hurt, that judgment upside down is real. Mm -hmm. What you're manifesting is chaos. And it comes right back to you. It's time for people to be happy. Yes, it is. Work from faith and divinity and not fear and chaos. We love you. You guys got this. I know we do. Together we can get through this. Absolutely. Be blessed. Blessed be. Namaste. Namaste.